So Steve, we talked about networking, LinkedIn, company culture, but do you think that there's other tips that you can give to job seeker before even applying for a job? Is there any plan do you, do you have that they, that can be useful to them? Yes. Uh, the first thing I want to say here is that sometimes to get the perfect job requires you to have the imperfect job. Mm -hmm. And sometimes good environments are what you should strive for, not good jobs. So if you believe that this is a good place, go get, go do something there and they will find you. And if you're good, they will find you good work. Yes. You know, and sometimes people feel like, oh, I'm not going to do that job because I don't know those things. I don't have those skills. I'm not even going to apply. Well, understand that most recruiters today know that whatever the job they post, they're probably going to find someone with 60% yes. or 70. Mm -hmm. So don't rule yourself out and don't, and don't say, well, I don't want to do that because that's boring. Every job has boring, yes. but you know, hopefully it's not too much boring, but you never know that job could lead you to something really great if it's a good organization. Mm -hmm. So the imperfect job sometimes will get you the perfect job. And that could be an internship. It could be a co-op. Oh, it yeah. could be part-time. It could be an independent contractor. Mm -hmm. you, you, you never know. And some, some of what I'm seeing my friends do is have several contractor jobs because yeah. what you do there, and there's a great book out there uh, by John Arms around, you know, trying to be a contractor. He gives you all these good descriptions of what you can do. Yeah. Um, but when you're a contractor, you get to it, like try the company out. Do I like this? Do I like the people? Mm -hmm. Do I like the culture? Do I like how they treat me? And then, you know, that way you don't have to accept the job and then realize, oh my gosh, I don't like it here. What am I going to do now? And when you're a contractor, there's no requirement that you stay. So, you know, that's probably the best advice I have for people is, and the, the second thing is big mistake, especially young job seekers make, which is I like the product. It must be a great company. Mm. No. No. Because the company's making a good product does not mean they're a good place to work for. Yeah. And I will, with all respect, talk about TikTok and ByteDance. People love using TikTok. Yes. Working for that company right now, very, very, very different experience. A lot of people unhappy, a lot of people quitting, a lot of people not being treated the way they thought they should be treated. Yeah. Because you like the product doesn't mean it's a great place to work. Be very careful. Some of the best work I ever did was companies no one ever heard of. Yeah. Uh, and so, and the la that means me to the last quick point, which is your job, your first few jobs doesn't define who you are as a person. It doesn't. Correct. It's a starting point and a career really, uh, and no one wants to say this, but I'm going to just be honest. A career is an experiment. We don't know what we like to do. We don't know where we want to work, the kind of work we want to do, because we've never tried it. Yeah. And you won't know until you try. And we're only going to be alive so many years, so you can only try so many things. It doesn't mean that you're a good person or a bad person or people are going to just go out there and start trying stuff. And you're going to learn the places that really inspire you. Those are great tips, John. Steve, I really enjoyed I hope the job seekers will implement. So tune in tomorrow for my final question with Steve.